it finally happened. <laughs> My single of the summer finally came out with a new album. How long has it actually been? When it sounds good, feels good, comes out. I can't even see the title anymore. 2015? Oh my god. Today is June 15th, 2018, and Young Blood was released. I went to two different stores trying to find it, and I could not find a physical copy of the album. I'll still be on a hunt for that, but I pulled up Spotify. Shout out to Spotify. I haven't heard any of them, except for the two singles and the two, like, songs they played live, um, Lie to Me and Valentine. I went then and I listened to those, um, the actual studio versions of those this morning. But everything else will be a pure first-time reaction. I don't know if this will be exciting or entertaining at all, but I don't know. I miss them. I miss the Five Sauce fam. It was such... For a time, it was a very nice fandom to be in. I miss it sometimes. I miss those Australian dorks. So I'm kind of really excited to listen to Youngblood. This is my reaction to Youngblood. Here we go. <laughs> Never mind, Spotify is down. <laughs> so much for this. <laughs> of course. Wait, what is- no, what's happening? There we go. And we're back. This is cute. It's not thrilling me by any means, but it's- it's cute. It's kind of funky. Cal! It's Callum! It's so funny to me how their voices have changed so much from, like, going back to, like- I mean, if you go back to, like, Gotta Get Out or something, where they're, like- 15 or something. It's really funny now to listen to them. And these newer songs, I genuinely can't always tell them apart, which is really funny to me. Granted, I'll listen to it a few times and I'll be fine, but still. This is a little... <laughs> okay, I dig this. Go ash, yeah. I dig this. I'm just waiting for an Ashton solo at this point. <laughs> or Michael, where's Michael at? Are they asking if you've been eating breakfast? Finally, Michael! Who's doing with falsetto? Is that Luke? <laughs> Chaunts. <laughs> Chaunts. Ooh. Are we gonna have a drop? Oh, I like this! <laughs> Thanks, Spotify! <laughs> Alright, I'd say we're about halfway through the album at this point. This is more. Ooh! Imagine dragon shit is this? Oh, I like this. Yeah! <laughs> Go Callum. There's nothing that's really like yelling at me that this is like five seconds of summer, you know what I mean? Like I feel like they had like such a a sound like with the guitars before, especially in their first album, and it sounds good, feels good, like, it can tear it, it carried on through that. I'm not hearing that in this, and I know they're going for, like, an older, like, different, more grown-up sound. I mean, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it so far. I really am liking it. I will buy the album, I will blast this in my car, I'll probably end up knowing every single word to every single song. But so far, there's nothing that's five songs to me about this, if that makes any sense. I really like this, though. More is really good. I think more is my favorite so far. I'm confused. I'm having feelings, okay? I don't quite understand the point of it, but I like that that one actually had like a story to it. <laughs> this is a slow jam. I'm getting an ad for Sierra's closing. I'm waiting for like the jam that makes me want to get up and dance. The sound is definitely way more grown up, which is cool and I really appreciate that. Hello. 
Hello, Mr. Bumblebee. Okay, this is the song that I'm seeing everyone like post on social media, Ghost of You. Am I gonna cry? Oh, this is sad. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay! I love this. Reminds me of if I could fly, but or not if I could fly. Yeah. What's the one from One Direction? Where it sounds like com two completely different songs, and they just mash them together. I dig it. I like it. Why am I flashing back to that Hilary Duff movie where she sings the singing competition and there's a kid with like a keyboard and he's got like all the different synths going and everything and all the different sounds? Does it sound like that? Because that's what I'm flashing back to right now hearing this. Luke's voice has grown so much. This is it. We've reached the moment. I'm to the very last song. The very last song is called Babylon. I haven't heard anything about this. I don't think it's gonna be Outer Space Carry On, but that's okay. I get that they've like grown up as a band, cause I've grown up too. I'm not as big a fan as I used to be, but I mean, like, I still love these guys. Before I get to the last song, I just want to say a couple words. I feel like I wasn't like jumping out of my seat excited about any of these, but I really like them. I like that it's 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 not a get up and dance type of album. It's I feel like it's gonna be a really good driving album, honestly. It has more of like a vibe to it than like like dancing like pop punk. I don't know what you would classify this as. What genre is this technically? This is not still pop punk, right? I really appreciate that they've grown up and that their fans have grown up with them and they've grown up with their fans because they are still so friggin' young. I like it overall. I'm not like, oh my god, this is like the best thing ever, but I really, I like it and I want to get it and I will definitely listen to all of these songs probably. I'll probably have some favorites <laughs> that I'll be listening to over and over and over and over again. But I think my main takeaway from this is that they've grown up and they have found their new sound. It's not the same as what it used to be, but that's okay. We can still go back and appreciate the old songs. They've grown up, they're onto new things, and I think that's super commendable. But they didn't, like, stay stuck doing the same thing that they weren't feeling anymore. They've grown, they've evolved. They've been working on this album for, like, two years now, I think. So, like, this is, like, them as a band now. And I know they've totally redone their image. They have a whole new thing going on for them and I think that's really great so I really like it a lot and I'm really super super proud of them I think this is so awesome that they're still out there like doing this and making their dreams come true that sounds cheesy but it's true so I'm gonna listen to the final song on Youngblood which is Babylon not what I was expecting Okay, this is I dig. Is this all Callum? Did I actually get a single solo? Did I just not catch it? I'm upset. As a former hardcore Ashton fan, I have an upset. Also, where is more Michael? Yeah! And that was Youngblood. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and listening with me. Go check out Youngblood by Five Sauce. It's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.